Is this the ultimate all-in-one budget lens for Sony APS-C cameras? If you're looking for an all-in-one lens on a budget for Sony APS-C cameras, then stick around because in this video I'm going to give you my review on the Tamron 18 to 300 millimeter lens and I'm going to help you decide whether or not this is the best choice for you. But please keep in mind that this is just a prototype, not the actual production model, which might affect a little on the results in this video. And also, I want to say a huge thank you for Focus Nordic for lending me this lens. In a way, this is an exceptional lens because it's got such an insanely wide range of focal lengths which I've never seen before in an APS-C lens this good. At 18 millimeters, it's fairly wide and versatile, but at 300 millimeters, man, you can use this for so many different things, for shooting wildlife, sports, events, for both photos and videos. I noticed that with wider focal lengths from around 18 to 80 millimeters, it worked really well with my Crane 2 as gimbal, but focal lengths beyond that, it didn't really feel practical and I just didn't like the way it worked. Now, even though this lens doesn't have a fast aperture for that nice background blur, that cinematic bokeh, I noticed that at 100 millimeters, you already start to get a little bit of that bokeh, that nice background blur, because of the compression of the lens. And at 300 millimeters, you start to get quite a bit more of that background blur because of the bigger compression of the 300 millimeter focal length. When we did this autofocus test where Thea walked towards the camera, the autofocus of the lens kept it locked on Thea all the way through perfectly in every single test, which made me really happy because autofocus is really important in these kind of lenses. I also did a vlogging test with this lens at 18 millimeters, and I gotta say, I was surprised how well it worked even though 18 millimeters, well, it is quite tight for vlogging. This is the vlogging test with the Tamron 18 to 300 millimeter lens, and I'm holding it at an arm's length with the Joby 3K Gorillapod, and I'm using my Sony A6600 camera. This is the vlogging test with the Sony 10 to 18 millimeter f4 lens set at 12 millimeters and i'm holding the gorilla pod at an arm's length the stabilization inside the lens felt even more stable than the stabilization in my go-to vlogging lens the sony 10 to 18 millimeter vlogging lens which also has a stabilization built in i really gotta show you this zoom test that i did to really give you an accurate sense of how good the zoom range of this lens actually is when you zoom it from 18 millimeters to 300 millimeters. So I shot this example through my office window and that building that you see there is actually the building where my little brother is living in. Another thing that makes me really happy is that such a capable lens as this costs only around 699 US dollars or 809 euros. Also, I really don't mind that it weighs only 620 grams and the filter size of this lens is 67 millimeters. Like with almost all of the other camera lenses that I've used, within the past two years, which is great because you can essentially use the same ND filters with every Tamron lens without having to fiddle around with all of these step-up rings, which I really don't like doing. Without the barrel extended, the lens can easily fit with a camera body inside a small camera bag, but when the barrel is extended, it really looks like a small bazooka. But it doesn't matter because 
it comes with this cool locking mechanism so that it won't even accidentally extend. Also, I did take some example photos with this lens of my pregnant wife at the park and I gotta say, I'm very happy with the results that you can get with this kind of a zoom lens at this price point. Of course, I did some tests with the lens where I filmed completely handheld and I gotta say again, I'm really impressed about the VC, the stabilization built inside the lens because, for example, in the shot where I zoomed in all the way to 300 millimeters, I tried to make it look kind of like it was shot on a tripod. Obviously, you can see a bit of movement there but I'm still pretty impressed about the stabilization. Okay, so what are my final thoughts about this lens? Well, if you're someone who can buy only one lens and you fall into one of these categories or several, then this might be the ideal lens for you. For example, if you like to film sports, wildlife, casual things like family vacations, and you want a lens that doesn't break the bank and you want to be able to film quite wide like 18 millimeters and in certain situations you want the ability to be able to zoom in all the way to 300 millimeters <laughs> then I'd say that you can't go wrong with this lens okay thanks for watching and I'll see you again in the next video take care